Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, you have a little fun maybe making a buck or two, we'd appreciate it. Give us a thumbs up, give everybody a chance to smash here right at the beginning. Get ready, I'll count it down. Three, two, one, smash that thumb, everybody. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Uh, appreciate it as always. If you haven't subscribed, please do that as well. And of course, if you're looking to check out even more of me, uh, we do our daily show called this, uh, called uh, Winners and Winers Radio. I do it with my buddy Scott Reichel. Great kid, very good handicapper, a lot of fun. So if you haven't checked that out, please do so. We're, uh, you can uh, wait for the video to come up uh, late morning, early afternoon, or you can check it out on our podcast platforms, uh, Google Play, Spotify, all the regulars. So please uh, download that and check it out as well. And of course, we want to know what you're playing. Put your plays in the comment section. We give you five units to play with, however you want to spend them. That's fine. You want to put all five on one play, knock yourself out. You want to do a little parlay, whatever. You got an angle, you put those plays in there. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. You get enough of them right, and you could be the capper of the day. So without further ado, let's uh, talk a little bit about yesterday's pick. You know what? That was a big swing that we took there on the Chicago Cubs, and it did not pay off at all as uh, Kyle Hendricks, the bullpen, uh, the peanut vendors, the guys who parked the car, everybody was dreadful for the Cubs. It was just an awful day. White Sox rolled. Just not a lot to say about it. You know what? Sometimes that's the way those picks go. So we took a we took a swing. You know, that's why we're getting two to one on our money. It's one of those you don't expect to win. Might have been nice if it had been a little closer, but it wasn't. And look at the bright side. At least we had our afternoon free. So... Uh, no bueno. We chalk it off to a uh, swing and a miss, and we go on with today's action. We're going to take a look, guys, at the New York Yankees as they travel to the City of Angels. Actually, they're going to Anaheim, the city of Disney, to uh, take on the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, Corey Kluber goes for the Yanks against our old friend TBA for the Los Angeles Angels. They do not have a starting pitcher announced yet. Guys, we're going to play the Yankees here. There's one place this bet's available, and it's DraftKings at minus 145. Now, once the Angels announce a pitcher, wouldn't be surprised to see it go higher, but we're going to make our official play minus 145 because I can bet it right now. And uh, my guess is it's going to be Quintana, mainly because they don't have many other options as far as the Angels pitchers go. They are having some uh, serious problems as far as the uh, injury front goes. And, you know... That was a team that wasn't exactly what you call lights out in the pitching department uh, before everybody started getting hurt. It's uh, it's been kind of a uh, kind of a kind of a brutal season for for the guys. Uh, Sandoval's out for the year. Detmers is out. Bundy's out. Um, Otani's day to day, of course. Uh, so th that would be the only other option that I see. Uh, they could put uh, Otani in there on short rest. I don't know why they do it. They got to play the Yankees, you know, again the next day. So, my guess is it's going to be, um, it's going to be Jose Quintana, and I don't really care. I honestly don't. Um, I Kluber, we're getting a good price on this because people are not convinced Kluber's ready to come back. He made two horrible re rehab starts. As a rule, you know what? I don't put too much into that. You never know what he's working on. You never know if he's going down there and say, "I want you to throw ninety percent breaking pitches" or whatever. Um, so I'm, I think this is a guy, he was pitching very well when he went out with his shoulder injury. Uh, the Yankees that were six and three in his first nine starts, uh, he had a 2.86 ERA. And of course, oh yeah, he was coming off a no hitter, um, before the start where he got lifted early, where he had this, the shoulder impingement there. So again, having a good season, good pitcher, I think he'll be all right. And like I said, it's, it's, Probably going to be Quintana, and he has been just absolutely dreadful. 8.23 ERA as a starter, 2.06 whip. That's when you know you're rocking. Um, there's a reason why they put him in the pen after coming back from surgery. He started, or after coming back from his injury, rather, he started the season in the rotation. That didn't go well, and then they brought him. Uh, they brought him back. He was hurt, and then they brought him back and put him in the pen. Uh, they were forced to put him in the starting rotation. I don't think anybody wants him there. And yeah, it hasn't been good. As far as the Yankees go, it's right dropping their last two to Oakland. This is still a very hot Yankees team. And I expect them to tee off on whatever tomato can starts and then finish it up against a bullpen that has been the dregs all season long. One of the worst in baseball 
from beginning to end. So let's take the Yankees minus 145. And at the end of that one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. Now, as far as officially goes, I will say this. Um, if it gets to plus one, if it gets to like minus 155 or so, I'm just going to play the run line. We're going to play the run line, probably get it somewhere around even money, minus 105, something like that. That's that I would be fine with that play as well. All right. So there you go. As far as our premium plays goes, we went, uh, we split on Sunday. We had the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars to take care of business over Dallas. They easily did that. And we also had the Cincinnati Reds, which I know a lot of you guys had in the comment section. We had the Reds on the run line, and they just completely no showed against Jesus Lozardo. Oh my God, really? You know, that's why I, I if that's why I'm kind of worried about this one because if Lozardo can look good, you know, maybe even Quintana could look good. I, I don't know. It's a world. It's a world gone mad. So yeah, the Reds were able to score nothing against. Uh, Lazardo, they put up one late, but that didn't matter because we were beat by then. So, anywho, that was our premiums one and one, and of course we did not have a bet the farm because it was a you know a Sunday. We did our bet the farm over the weekend. So let's see how you guys did, shall we? And we're going to have a uh, a lot of people who were cappers of the day right here. It was uh, uh, I'll tell you one person that didn't what wasn't perfect, and he even he even made fun of it, said he was going to put up a clean sheet today. He didn't. He goes four and one again. It's Steve the Godfather Godon going four and one plus three hundred. Nicely done, Steve. But your cappers of the day, Thomas Bo going one and zero plus three hundred. He had the Tampa Bay Rays again on the alternative run line minus two and a half. That covered. Mikey Butler going two and zero plus two hundred. Nicely done, Mikey. God is good. Not too bad yourself, there, my friend. Uh, Salvatore Barracado goes one and zero plus five hundred. He just faded the Orioles. That's what he's been doing for the last two weeks, and I'm assuming he's a very wealthy man by now. And of course, Benito Quevedo, nice job picking up a couple of dogs there on the on the day as he goes three and zero plus three ninety five. So, that being said, everybody with a clean sheet, you're all cappers of the day. So, congratulations to Tom, congratulations to Mike, congratulations to Salvatore, and congratulations to Benito. You four gentlemen are all cappers of the day. Well done, guys, and well done to the rest of you. Anybody else that made money, way to go. Let's go out there and fire up the week in fine fashion, shall we? Good luck on all of your plays today. Hope whatever one of those tickets in your pocket turns into cash money when you head back to the window. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.